hello friends and very very warm welcome to this video in this particular video we'll be basically covered covering about how you can do authentication in uh, your application basically it, 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 it will give you the core concept of how authentication work i'll be also uh, telling you all the necessary tools which you need basically for node.js if you are a node.js express based environment so if you are not also an express based based environment the concept lies the same so you'll you'll learn something from this video that's my guarantee so just watch till end that's important first of all let's start so the thing uh, we'll start is by you know uh, just give the heading is authentication authentication basically so what 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 will you do what uh, you know let's uh, you know we'll be drawing every diagram on this side and we'll be uh, doing all the will be right i will be writing on this side so basically what happens you know in in a real world scenario you have something called server and you have something called client what happens you know client sends a sign up request initially authentication always starts with the sign up okay so the sign up process during the sign up process what happens you know uh, the user actually gives some data to the server now what is the data this data is as usually name email id sign up date everything basically everything so let's say you know for the data it can give you the email id this can give the name this can give you the password password whatever the user has created okay so that's great now once you have these things what's what is the next thing which happens the next thing which ha which happens is uh, you know you simply start the sign up process in the server p r o c e w -S, s in the server and how does this goes on is simply you know uh, this actually hits a route in the server and what is a route route is simply an address so that could be a sign up let's say that could be a sign up route it simply hits the sign up route and uh, your server know okay we have to register a new user so what happens you know the first process which happens is validation Now, what is validation validation is actually checking whether the uh, all the required data is there in the request or not so if like let's say you know uh, it requires email id for the sign up it is there okay that's good we require a name for the sign up okay name is also there that's great we require a password for the sign up the password is also there that's great so it checks whether like everything is there in the request or not if everything is there it's okay if it is not there it will simply return to the user and say it is an invalid request simply you know send all the data and then we then only we can sign, sign you up so what's the next process first is validation and once we have completed the validation uh, it it only goes to the next step if the previous step step is successful that's what we have to remember the next step is after validation what it what uh, what uh, generally do you think sign up happens is you uh, create a you know you hash the password hash the password hash the password in node.js basically the hashing is done by a library called bcrypt you can search about it on google uh, so hashing is actually converting the password into an unreadable form uh, uh, into an encrypted form so that what basically helps you to protect the password from any kind of you know generally in today's modern app we do not uh, store the password directly like the plain password in the database we hash it uh, so that you can generally you know uh, even the employees of a particular company does not know your password because it is hashed you can only compare two passwords you can compare whether it is same or different but you cannot really know what is the password once it is hashed so that's something cool that's something what we want in your application so the next step is hashing the password so that once the hashing the password is done uh, we then finally store the password St no sorry we don't store the password we store the user store the user data in db database so uh, the next thing which we do is simply you know store all these data all these uh, you know data and we do not store this real password we store only the hashed password in the database so our database has all the user data and this hashed password that's great the next thing which we uh, uh, which uh, this uh, authentic uh, in the authentication we do is like extremely important this is we generate a token now if you knew this this is like something different token is actually a piece of like signed document you can say token is like a hashed uh, an encrypted uh, form of some data some data then now that data should not be password and all that could be anything like that could be a name email id whatever thing and this is actually returned to the user as a response 
and this is set as a cookie in most cases like if you can return it directly and the user could uh, the client side could also store it as a local storage but in most cases uh, in most cases it is either stored in the session storage uh, in local storage or, or as a cookie like in 90 percent cases it is stored as a cookie so uh, once the cookie is stored now why, why this cookie this whole thing of sign up is actually done to get this cookie uh, to get this token actually so once this uh, token is received by the client the client saves it as, as a uh, in in the uh, in the as a cookie and whenever the next request is made to the server uh, the server checks this uh, token that is it the same token which we have sent before during the sign up if it it is then it will allow that request to happen otherwise like it will say that you are an invalid request so that's how that's the whole process of sign up okay that's the whole process of sign up the next thing which we want to understand is sign in okay so i hope so the first process is you you validate the data the second you hash the password then you store everything in the database then the third thing is you generate a token out of some information of the user only and you send that token back to the user and the user stores it as a cookie in the browser that's cool so uh let's now erase everything and uh uh, now we'll be learning we'll be learning about sign in basically so the next thing is sign in so okay we have to again go here and say sign in now what is sign in so sign in is basically uh you know you uh <coughs> let's let me change the color sign in is like when uh let's say you're logged out and user like that in 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 core you are regenerating the token that's all that's what the sign in is and one more thing i want to tell you when in, during the sign up when you generate the token simply you pass some sort of information through which you can identify the user so that's important uh, we'll be talking why that is important in a while but yeah that is important you you send either the uid user u, unique user identi identification id or you send the email id or something which you, with which you can identify the user that's important so uh, the next thing is uh, during sign in what happens you know let's talk it here let's talk about it over here you have a server uh, you have a client the client actually sends a, re a request and that request is for signing in so during sign in the client sends two things first is the username usually it is email id and then it is password once these two information is sent during the request to the uh, user uh, this to the server the server does what is it goes to the database so first thing it does is it uh, it validates the data now what do i mean by validation it checks whether there is a password and there there is a, a is a email and there is a password in the request or not if these both things are there then it will continue otherwise it will say say simply you know that the request is valid the second thing it does is you know after this is uh you know check in the database check in the database so basically this checks in the database whether that particular user exists or not so it only checks that it, it exists or not that that particular email id actually in, exists or not so once that is done the third thing it will do is check the password check the password and let me tell you it does not know the correct password or the actual password it just you know it takes the password from the user whatever the, the user has typed during the sign-in process and it takes the password from the uh, database and only compares them there's a tool there's an algorithm to compare them and if that comparison results in true that is means that you know that the both of the password are same then it you know it knows that you are you are a valid user and that in you know, the fourth process again generates a token so generate a token and you know this token generation and simply sends it to the user this token also has some expiry period by you know it will expire after two three five some some days and you have to refresh it and all but uh, for now you can understand that that uh, during sign up process you have to generate a token again this is stored in the user so user does not have to again and again you know log in for, for making each and every request so that's how sign in works so you understood what is how the sign up works how the sign in works the next obvious process is how like the general flow works how how does the user know you are authenticated with the token which is there now what is why is this token is important because when you like let's say you know you you logged in once and you go to some other pages so this token is actually sent 
when you go to another page and make some other request this token is actually sent you don't have to log in again and again so what happens you know this uh, with this token so uh, we'll be talking about token verification next so let's say token verification token verification now how does this token verification actually works what happens you know this uh, token has some data token has some data and this this data is actually this data contains all the information through which we can uniquely identify this user so we say let's say you know this has a uid unique identification id we search in the database whether this thing is available or not so the first step is to search in the database search in the db that whether this uid exists or not the second step is very simple to validate this token that validate this this token basically in uh, you know in a node.js environment and basically in all environment what happens you know this token is uh, this token uh, this is called json web token okay jwt it is very very famous way of authentication so what happens you know this jwt or json this this uh, token is actually signed by a password which is like the server password is like uh, you know just it is highly confidential and you keep it very safe and it's like really complex but uh, you should make it really complex but uh, what happens you know you 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 just it is a key you can think of it is a key so you receive a token you give that key to it and then you receive the actual data when you receive the actual data you simply uh, send it to the server and search that whether this particular person exists or not if it exists then it verifies that whether this is same signed token which we have sent during sign up or not or during login or not if that is it will say yes you are a validated user and it will continue the request and let me tell you this is this all process happens at the middleware And what is a middleware? A middleware is like user sends the request, it happens, and then it goes to the final request. Whatever. Let's say you know you 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 send a request to uh, grab all the friends which you have so that requires sign up, right? So uh, the, it will simply go to the server. It happen. This all process talk, token verification will happen. Then it will you know uh, redirect it, or you it, it will simply say that simply go and fetch the user after this whole process happens. If you fail this, simply it will uh, say that you are not authenticated. Go and log in. So that's how the authentication works. So I hope so you like this video and if you like simply subscribe to the channel that would be amazing. Thank you. Have a great day and bye bye.